Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Octoman from octomangames.com and in this tutorial series you will learn how to create an Unblock Cars 3D game in Unity. This is going to be a puzzle game where the actual goal of the game is to unblock the red car and bring it to the little goal area over there. So what will you learn? You will learn how to create buttons and interact with them. We are going to learn how to place a URL, of course, um, so we can go and lead people to our website. We are going to take a look into a level selection menu where we're going to be able to showcase whatever the level is about. We are going to take a look how we can fill in data and how we automatically fill the complete selection movie or window here as well as what we can learn is how to unlock new levels on a rather simple way in our case also how to automatically create a system which is understanding how high or how hard how difficult a actual level is going to be based on some uh, basic knowledge about how much turns are needed to solve a puzzle and we will go and unlock new create or new content or new levels and uh, so on and so forth whenever we have solved one of them puzzles. So if we are going to go into the first puzzle over here, we are going to create the play field for that. We are going to learn about all these buttons and inputs. We are learning how to move cars in two directions, left or right. We are also blocking them so they cannot leave the play field. We are going to do this with two sized cars and three sized cars like these trucks as well as we are going to try to finish some of them puzzles to make sure that the red car is going to leave the goal or actually is able to um, reach this goal area. We are going to show a windscreen over here. We can retry for example to maybe make our turns uh, or make this um, in less turns, we can go back to the main menu where we can maybe go to the selection menu and probably test another level out. This one here is going to be a rather simple level and we are going to take care of that one as well. Once we get back uh, to the selection menu, we have unlocked now the next one. So we are going to take a closer look into that. Also, what we are going to learn is how we can automatically generate levels. For example, we are going to write a little rather simple level generator, which is going to do most of the work for us. We can give it some settings, for example, like how many cars we want to see in that. How can we randomly pick different cars with just, with just random colors, let's say. We can also actually see if that level is solvable. How much time does it need to be solved? We are also trying to handcraft some levels, We what we need to take care of when we do so and so on and so forth. So this course is going to hopefully bring you to a next level where you are going to learn about level generation, about content you may never have seen before, as well as how you can construct your own levels, design your own things, your own scenarios over here and feel more comfortable in the end to work with the Unity game engine. At the very end, we are going to create a WebGL build, uh, which we gonna or which you can upload to websites like HIO or GameJolt so people can play this game. We are going to tackle some issues which are popping up and I'm gonna teach you how you can solve them or what you need to take care of when you have something to solve like that. We are going to probably go and encounter some bugs. So we try to fix them and I'm going to teach you how to read the actual error messages as best as we can and try to solve the problems we encounter on the road. So I hope you are going to see some value in this. And if you do so, feel free to join me on this journey in how to create Unblock Cars 3D game in Unity game engine. We are using Unity 2021, but you can literally use any Unity version in uni uh, from Unity 5.6 and over. So we can use the or make use of the canvas system over there. And all the 3D models are going to be provided in this course. So feel free to use them as well as all the GUI graphics you're going to see over here are in this course as well. So feel free to use them for learning purposes. And maybe you want to later on 
create your own assets and use them in your game. Also, it is possible to use the same um, programming content for a 2D based game. So if you like to make this more in a 2D space instead of a 3D space, this should also work. So feel free to learn that with me together over here. I hope to see you in course and let's get start learning.